My parents are both veterans of the Second World War, and my father is a TB veteran. He's passed away, but he encouraged us to join the Legion, which we did, and then that Legion started the charity TB Vets, which I'm involved in. How does it feel that you're now here? What does, what does it mean to your parents that you're here now? They're very proud of me. They really wanted me to be involved, to make sure that um, that we, we took care of the charity, we took care of the Legion. Very proud of us. So you're mentioning, I mean, those are the presidents over there, and this on the wall? That's my mother. That's your mom? That's my mom, yeah. That's incredible. Catherine, she was a, a bomb girl. During the war, she served um, in the motor pool and drove officers around. Incredible. From Halifax right to Vancouver. TB Vets, what is it? TB Vets is a charity that started um, after the Second World War. Veterans came back and uh, they had tuberculosis. And so they couldn't find a job because of their disease. People didn't want to have them around as well. And then they weren't eligible for government subsidies like someone who had lost a limb. And this is our Legion Room. Last year, this small organization gave away $1.1 million to hospitals, as I said, first responders all across this province. That's incredible. And our motto is to, um, you know, be be proud and tell tell the world who we are, the small organization that is really doing good work for respiratory health. And what did it mean to this hospital when TB Vets came along and let you know that they were going to be donating here? For example, last year, the TB Vets bought an MRI ventilator for us. This is something that we did not have in the past, and this ventilator allows us to provide MRIs to patients in the hospital who are on ventilator. It was an extraordinary contribution to the quality of healthcare that we're able to provide at this hospital. Thanks to TB Vets and their generous donors, Langley Memorial Hospital now boasts a state-of-the-art ventilator, providing better patient care and comfort. So the main reason we had to purchase this ventilator was because of the metal component of it. Um, all our other conventional ventilators do have um, a metal in them that is attracted by the magnetic field that's created. Before the MR1 here, uh, the ventilator itself, we were actually having to uh, transport patients um, out of our site or mechanically ventilate them uh, about 30 feet away. So this is, is, is a lot better so they could stay in house for that. So what does it mean now for the TB vets to have donated this state-of-the-art ventilator to the hospital and to patient care? So from our patient perspective, the ventilator is used on our most vulnerable patient to put them in an ambulance and transfer them to another site where they could have a ventilator puts them at significant risk and by being able to keep them on site, not sending our valuable resources in our RTs and our nurses on to another site for probably hours while we're doing the transfer back and forth has made a huge difference in providing that on-time care for those patients and not draining a number of additional resources. If the TB Vet Foundation was here right now, what would you say to them and more importantly, their donors? Um, to their donors and to the TB Vets, we can't thank them enough. Um, it's difficult because it's not something that we use every single day, but the impact is significant. Without it, we would be sending people at high risk into a much more difficult situation. So um, it has been a great gift and we greatly appreciate their support. So what's next for this hospital? What is the need here? Every year, the hospital needs new equipment. Our equipment can be outdated, it can be beyond repair, and worse, our technology can be older. This year, our hospital needs about $8 million worth of equipment. That equipment allows us to bring in advanced technology, allowing us to provide more efficient use of our resources, it has better, faster diagnoses, and most importantly, the best patient care available. Well, there's no doubt that TB Vets and their generous donors are helping the frontline heroes here save lives. See the website for more information. Dean Atwell, Joy Television. Thank you.